welcome back to Museum Diaries. We're showing you two of Veronica's recent paintings. And she's going to describe these two to you. The one on the left is... The Smiling Pelican. And it's just supposed to be light-hearted and homage to Miro. Um, it's not quite finished yet. And the one on the right is of sailboats that get caught in this... get caught inside of a mist. And then I have um, the rock walls there that are undersea and, you know, other civilizations. A tree. Time has just, yeah, time has just eroded. And um, anyway, they're not quite done yet, but you'll see them when they're completed. Well, thank you guys for tuning into this segment of paintings well, let's, with the Duchess. On. Before we end it here, um, what kind of price do you think we should be charging for these? Veronica takes her time. I'm going to tell you right now. She takes her time. She really gets into her imagination. And this is her imagination gone wild. I mean, this is the pelican. But you got a snake there. You got a foot there. A hand there. An eyeball. And the pelican doesn't have wings. But it has a foot. And then we go over to the sailboat. Storm is what it looks like. Yes, that's what it is. You got a red circle, you got reef, swirls, looks like a broken dock, mm -hmm. waves. But they're not completed yet. But she's got this magnificent one too that she did of a portrait of me. And it was, it's intense, it's intense. I love it. And this one I love so much because she's got three things going on in one painting. Look at this. There's an eye right there. Different backgrounds. A wheel there. So here's the portrait of you, Jax. Another eye. Okay. There's a portrait of me. And I told you one of the th I told her one of the things you captured is my sad eyes. I have sad eyes. And she captured that really well in this painting. And this is called Goldie and her family, her little baby goldfish. It's not quite done yet because they're going to have smiles on their face. And this was done for Dr. Rampton's children and his family. This is for our dentist, Dr. Rampton. Such a great guy. He is. And the best dentist. Okay, you guys. Did you get this painting yet up on Museum of Americana? Let's see. That one. This one Veronica did a long, long time ago. It was in 2015, so it was only seven years ago. Okay, maybe not so long ago. I thought it was done in the 90s, but and it was done in... The this was done after she got out of prison. And she put a little mirror in it, right and there. there's a little crevice so that you can use a lit candle. Let me try to grab a candle and get it. That's a big piece, let me tell you. I could probably fit that into the car. And one of the things I'm thinking about is, and I'm going to show you Veronica's artwork. This is another piece. We took one of her recent canvases, the Roman arches, dust to dust. Magnificent painting, abstract. And we're having it stretched. We're picking it up in a few days. And we will show it to you. We will reveal it to you on our channel. This is one of mine. Sea turtle. And that's another one of mine. Broken in three. And Veronica did the self-portrait of me. There's my eternity perfume. Okay. Yeah. So anyhow, put okay. Else. Put the camera somewhere else, not on me. Because I have to put this candle right here. Hold the chair, hold the chair. Jackie, hold this chair, it's moving. Okay, I'm gonna hold the chair. She's gonna put a candle up there. 
because it has a little place right here where the canvas It's going to burn the canvas. So No, it doesn't. But see right here? Yeah. That's where it goes. There's a little crevice in there. And the camera's there. The okay. Battery. I use the battery. Battery lit light. candles. Yeah. So they're actually. And it'll go right lights. there. Yeah. And it reflects off of that little mirror and it looks beautiful. Okay, you guys. So here we are. I wanted to come into Veronica's room because she's got her artwork spread out on the floor and she's painting right now. I want you to watch her technique. And this is so personal. It's like, would you masturbate in front of someone? No. That's kind of how I feel about when people watch me as I paint. I feel very, like it's very intrusive and it's a very difficult thing for me to show my process. This you can see is um, a dog and that's going to be his tongue and um, he's got something that he's chewing on. So it's more of an impressionistic piece and uh, it has ways to go but I'm, ha I'm happy with it so far. I want you to study all the color she has around this painting. I think a lot of it has to do with the juxtapositioning of light and dark, line and curve. Um, those are really important elements as an artist that I see. So I try to always look out for that uh, element that where I have a curve, I've got a line and so they're juxtaposed and it creates a certain type of balance. Napoleon is so huge that he gave her that bruise right there on her leg. He jumps on her. Yeah. He's very loving and very wonderful. And he's just so strong. But he's extremely strong. He's now just finally, finally, he's reaching a year old. He's 10 months old. And um, he's still a baby. And he's still got the puppy qualities. He is so cute. He is just, his face is so expressive. And explain why his face is so expressive. He, he looks at you with his eyes and his, he's got the boxer mix in his muzzle. You know, his face has that boxer mix, but he doesn't have that short snout. He has a golden retriever snout, more or less. And he's got the golden retriever personality. He's just the best dog. He's an amazing dog yes. that we have, Napoleon. And he's very good. Let me see if I can call him in here. Actually, I don't need to call him in here because as Veronica pulls out, we're not sure what this piece is called, but we're gonna name it. Yeah, she's been working. And this is the way Veronica works, you guys. She will work on one piece and then and get switch off to her next yeah, piece. Exactly. And she's got a couple of other pieces right here. So I work on four pieces maybe. Every this time. is the Duchess in her artist mind. There's Napoleon. Hi, boy. I'm just talking about how you have such an expressive face. Yeah. You. I saw your ears move a little bit there. You're sleepy, huh? Sleepy, sleepy. Good boy. He's sleepy. He's had a long day. And we haven't taken him hiking yet. Wait till we take him hiking. Oh boy. Um, tell Americana, our audience, about um, we have a patron who is looking at spending $50,000. Yeah, here it is, you guys. We're going to have something to share with you. In, in about a week, I, I'm going to upload a video on Veronica's Veronica's latest piece on the Roman arches dust to dust and it is an amazing piece and the previous video you've seen she was working on it so she's working on that one she turned it in I, I, I explained it in my last video we get it back in a week the end of this week as a matter of fact and that is for one of our doctors yeah don't say names because patrons we don't give away their identities okay too late now but I already said this in the previous video so um, 
um, I will never say the name. You you don't know the full name, which is good. You just know it's a doctor somewhere in California. Right. And anyhow, um, he loves the abstracts. So we have one that I specially made for him. We took it to get stretched, and it cost um, how much? Four hundred and thirty dollars to get this painting stretched by Veronica. And it's going to go for a few thousand? Well, it goes for 50,000. It goes for 50, but we're probably going to part with it for 45. And um, you if you've gotten a chance, go to Museum Americana Gallery on Etsy.com. ETSY.com. Go Lamoka, the modern museum of our art out here in LA who's already, I've passed through all three curators before. They wanted me to have, to be in the collection with um, another artist, Paying for Your Pleasure, Mike Kelly. And they've already accepted my work in their museum for permanent collection. So I couldn't do it because of the parole board. So even after the curators said, yes, we're gonna keep her, we're gonna do her in the show, and then she's gonna stay in our private collection. The parole board member, Kit Bale, would not allow it. So I had to withdraw from that. And um, now I'm recontacting. She eventually got rid of Kit Bale, who was yes. having an affair with her. Well, let's not get into all the Then wife, stuff. but it was, it was dirty. It was dirty, and this woman was hell-bent on making sure Veronica didn't get anywhere in life. Right. Other than prison, and... Veronica was accepted into La Mocha, uh, maybe even MoMA, for her work with Mike Kelly, who is now passed, and her work exists, and it's up for sale. We have it on it Etsy.com. It starts at 50 So, for those of you that are watching this, if you like any of the pieces and you want them, just be patient because we're making posters that can afford that you can afford that will be on our museum site okay thank you guys for watching this we'll talk to you soon god bless you love the ones that you're around and forgive bye for now Natural. okay everyone welcome back to museum diaries veronica likes to rub napoleon's paws because she plays fetch with him she's gonna rub this ointment on him right now because I, I usually use the lanolin and I've tried the um, Vaseline. Okay, now I'm going to do it. And dogs, as it's their nature to always resist when you touch their feet, they don't like it. So um, that I've gotten him to this state where he's able to, you know, he knows what I'm doing is to help him. That they get accustomed to it and then uh, you can do it. But it takes time and patience to get um, a dog this passive. But he knows that it's always in his best interest. So, because I would never do anything to harm him. I don't even yell at him. I don't raise my voice. Um, I mean, if you try to do this to most dogs, they're going to resist it. But she does it to keep his paws soft so that they don't get hard. So they don't hurt him. Yeah. Because otherwise they can crack. It's just like a person's feet crack. He's, he's a strong boy. He's very heavy. He's a big boy. He's grown. He's what, 10 months? Going on 11 months? Yeah. Come October 15th, he will be one year old. Napoleon, you're going to be a year old, baby. You're still Napoleon, learning so much. Napoleon, we love, love, love Napoleon. Oh, Napoleon, we also call Napoleon. him Boyo. We love a love love boyo. Boyo. Boyo, 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 boyo. Is my phone ringing? He's a great dog. No. No. So we got new phones. Veronica got a Moto G 5G phone. Yeah. I got a Samsung Galaxy A53. This is it. Oh, you can show the new paintings I'm working on. Okay. While we're here, let's show you the paintings Veronica has been working on lately. So, this this is one of a dog, and you can't tell yet, but that's going to be his tongue. 
You can kind of see the outline of a dog. I see it. It's, you know, an impressionist piece. And this is um, an abstract. It's not done. And this is the pelican laughing. She's not done yet either. And this one are the smiling ships in the sea. pelican laughing. Okay, these are the ships in the sea. It's not done either. Yeah. These are all abstract pieces that she's been working on. Or impressions pieces. Let's see if she's yeah, got another one. Goldie. Goldie and her little gold babies. It's not finished. These are all great pieces. And this is another portrait of Jackie. And they're not done yet. But they're great pieces. We wanted to share this with you. And we're going to be sharing with you all when we get the new painting back. The new it's painting that's being stretched right now. Yeah. It's going for 50000 It's such a beautiful piece. I'm probably going to take the camera with me when we go pick it up. And because it's going to be it revealed to us. It yeah. costs us $430 to stretch it. That's without the tax. Yeah. So we'll get the tax. I was going to get it framed and that was going to run us about a thousand. And, and I said no. Veronica said no. The, the clients the, like to the put The client their can choose how they want to frame it. Exactly. I but we are, we are stretching it because we did it on canvas. And speaking of canvas, I have to buy more canvas for us. Yes. Veronica is holding her Frida Kahlo umbrella that we picked up at the um, immersive exhibit that we went to recently Pretty in Los Angeles. Immersive exhibit, yeah. Wow. Turn it around. Tell me when to stop. Stop. That's the umbrella. And and this is Veronica's she, favorite she, art piece uh, of her. She, uh, paint or the angel? The, uh, no, no, no. The one in the living room of Frida Kahlo. Okay, your the robe. robe. Silk robe. Okay. I also wanted to show you this angel that Veronica painted. I t we decided to go with blue and white. She reminds me of the color of the Statue of Liberty, but she's holding um, white roses. So let's go show you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm working on that. Let's go show you. The other piece Veronica is talking about, it's right here, it's her robe, and it's got Frida Kahlo on the back. Like if she's giving herself a blood transfusion. That's Veronica's oh, robe. Show them the Frida Kahlo purse. And she got this purse as a gift. Frida Kahlo. She looks pretty there. Okay, you guys, we just wanted to share that with you. Oh, did you get Boyle? Get him over here. Let's see, what's He's Napoleon doing? Oh, you're curled up, baby. Is, Is everything okay? I love it. He is cool. so close with Veronica. And the way his ear flips so up close. like that, I love that. It's so precious. He's a golden boxer, they call him. And explain why. Yeah, he's he's his dad is a golden retriever and his mama is a boxer. So he's a he's a little retriever boxer mix. That's oh, what they call him, the Golden picture. Boxer. This is of Lee Strasberg and I when I was... Um, she was around 19. There she is before she went blonde with Lee Strasberg. I studied at the Strasberg Institute for almost four years. And I was two years under Lee Strasberg. I mean, I did two years with him in the master classes. And he wrote something here. With hopes and best wishes for the future, Lee Strasberg. And he and I had a really tumultuous relationship because um, I would argue with him, and he adored me. I adored him only as mentor and student. Yeah, Veronica has quite a colorful past. 
she's known a lot of people well, with go money. Go down the freeways, and there's Tom Bradley's. They've got a highway well, Nathan Chappelle Highway, and then there's on the, the 405. Nathan Chappelle Highway. But um, those are two men that uh, were very close to me and my family, and very good upright men. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Peace out. Love you guys. Bye for now. Okay, we're back. Veronica is rubbing Napoleon with his special ointment. It's for um, mange. Mine, so, yeah. And so I just watch him to see where he's scratching. He doesn't look like it's back, but he has been scratching a and lot. This works. This works. So that and definitely we, helps him. And tell him the stuff that you bought for him. Yeah, like what? The oil stuff that you put up here. Oh well, he's got this tick and flea repellent. It's in a liquid form, and it goes between the shoulder blades back here, back here, between the shoulder blades, and um. That lasts for about three to six months, I think three months, and then we'll do another application. But um, he's doing pretty good. We did his feet today already. Yeah, as you saw earlier, nice he hasn't gotten out of the yard in, anymore in a while. It's like he's learning to stay home. Yes, he is. He's doing much, much better. Yeah. Okay. So if I can get him to turn over and get the other side. Okay. So, come on, boy. Oh, there you go. Help me, help me, help Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. You want to get him on the other side. There yes, you go. Yes, that side. Good boy. No. Yeah. My goodness. My goodness. Yes. He's always so grateful, too. He'll lick my hand and give me kisses because he loves this stuff. Yeah, it helps with his itching. Yeah, it does. But what you want to do is you want to rub it in so it gets to the skin. And they get a little body massage in the process. Good boy. Good baby. All right. Okay. You're a good boy, Napoleon. Here, you still have the camera on? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'll show how it works. So this is the new... Ready? Yeah. This is the new brush that Jackie bought for the babies. You press this button, and notice these are retractable. And um, so you brush them like that. It's very mild. And then to get the hair off, you do that, and see the hair will come right off. So Jackie is always the best. Um, she buys everything for us because she's brilliant that way. You know, they try to make sure that we get the best products for the best prices and um, for the dogs too, you know. So, yeah, there you have it. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, you guys. Share love and peace in the world. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. One thing I wanted to show you is that. Um, Veronica painted over the self-portrait that I was working on because she says, you know what, it's your canvas. I shouldn't be manipulating your canvas or touching your canvas. You know, I'm so sorry. And I'm going to start. I don't know when. Um, and... Okay. Uh... And, you know, I'll just take it from there. But I get to start with the clean canvas again. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. And um, it's been a while since I've flown my drone, Iris. 
I tell you what, um, the phone that I had before that I would use it with, it's an Android, but it was a 3G phone, so it was no longer compatible with the software. I unfortunately had to go out and buy a 5G phone, so it is now compatible with my drone. I figured out how to um, install it. I took a trip to Best Buy, and uh, they were able to guide me into installing the app for DJI. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I have that now, the DJI Fly app on my new Samsung Galaxy phone. further ahead so this is the neighborhood looking good everybody if you haven't subscribed to our channel you guys um, it doesn't cost anything please feel free to subscribe and we want to remind you that we have a patreon account for you I want to become a patron from Museum Americana go to PayPal not PayPal you guys go to patreon.com forward slash Museum Americana There, I'll tell you. And I had to guide her back. I use visual sight at this point to make sure I don't hit the palm trees because when I bring it into land, as I'm hovering there from the second floor, I have to make sure I don't hit any of the trees around. And overall, overall, you guys, it was a really good flight. I'm glad that, uh, working now with my new phone. Alright you guys, thanks for watching our videos. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.